Hello gamers, it's Soft Kitty 99 and today we're back in House Flipper at the old lady's house. And I came around the back just to check this corner which seemed to be having a little bit of problem with being painted or not painted. And today it is back being painted so, um, do you know what, I think I will leave the paint there just in case there's an, any more problems but I think we might be sorted on that one. So we don't have to come back and repaint that, I just wanted to let you know that. So we've knocked through a little bit here to open this space up. So we're going to make this a dining room. This is going to be the kitchen. And we've started working on our office space and our lounge. And we've decorated these so they're just not ready for furniture now. And then coming through into the little hallway that leads to all the other rooms, we've also decorated what will be our main bedroom. So those three rooms, the bedroom, the lounge, and the little office space that's gonna go off the lounge are all ready for furniture. So we can start on this today. Now they've added a few new things in the um, inventories and things as well so as we're going around you've noticed that there are a few new options in the last episode we used some of the new curtains so if we look for doors and windows and look at the curtains and blinds you can see that some of the new curtains here you see we've got more choices in colors and lengths of the uh, curtains now uh, so let's double check which sizes of windows have we got. We've got two small windows in the bedroom, right? So we want the narrow and um, I think it might be better to go for short curtains. We're going for sort of browns and natural colours. So if we have a look at the so um, red, blue, black, gr dark grey, brown green and dark brown so we've got the darker colors here so we could go for maybe one of the browns to go with the, the chocolatey colors and then just double check at the then you've got the plain colors in the lighter colors so you've got the light to two lighter shades of gray there look uh, cream white coffee I like that one that's a nice color uh, pastel rose, beige, light blue, brown coffee and grassy and then you can change the the rails which I really like the idea that we can change the rails now. So we've got black, silver and golden. I really like that that we can change them. And then we've got the flowery ones as well so the flower the narrow patterned ones you see what we've got there can we Shame that you can't um, close them to see the uh, pattern more. Right, um, dandelion, black. So these match the um, panels and things that we can put on the walls, don't they? The lines, floral shoots, rosal, trixel, brown. Ooh, now that might go quite well with our bedroom. Mary, Mary Bloom, Spare Bloom, Bee Bloom. Oh, now that might work as well. Uh, chain blue, orange in black flowers, light blue, speckles, rose weave and blue. So I think the best ones for this room could be the bee blue or the brown patterned one. Yeah, I think we'll try the bee blue, see what that looks like on the wall. Then we can... Uh, see what these look like now so we've got the golden rod for the support and then the bee blue and we can close the curtains look oh yeah i actually kind of like that if you look at the patterns look kind of like that idea and then open close open oh it's cool oh that's i like that right so we want another one of those on the other window and let's assemble that and then we'll think about some furniture for in here so we go for the sort of browns naturally browns and creams and autumn autumn tones maybe yeah sort of open tone so close 
open, close. Oh, I like that. I do like the fact that we can open and close the windows. Um, curtains and the windows. Well, yeah, you can, you can open the, you can open the windows as well. Though, so, yeah, we can do those. <laughs> right. So, um, let's think. It's not a huge room. We are going to need a nice bed. So we want furniture beds. I really wish we could separate the beds into single beds and double beds. That would be very helpful, I think. Now, let me think. What do we put in here? I'm tempted to go for the big brown soft bed here. Yeah. She definitely want browns you see. Uh, dark wood. Do we, to, do we want the very dark wood or do we want a slightly paler wood? Uh, don't, we want something that's very more brown so it would either be the yeah I think it would either be the cedar or the darker wood. I think we're gonna go for the dark because I think otherwise it's too pale. Quite dark. Yeah, I think we'll go for let's see. Now I hope that this will fit nicely in the room, but um I really think the bed I I really do think the bed should be on this wall. Oop, where is that? But I'm a little bit concerned about it being close to the and we want to make the bed, thank you. Much nicer, thank you very much. Right, so we now need some bedside tables. Actually, there's some nice new little tables in the um, HGTV section. Cupboards, no, that's cupboards, that's not. Oh, bedside table, oh, bedside table, that's uh, Let's just type it in bedside table. Yes, yeah, so there's these um, nice little ones, and then you've got the older style ones as well that we've uh, used quite a lot. So that might work, but I'm, I'm wondering if we should go for. Is that too, that's too traditional, perhaps? I wonder if one of these maybe might be a better choice. Do we have anything in there? That pale coffee, is that a good one? I think the first one is the more likely to be and the golden perhaps. Let's see how how would that look if we try and pop you next to the Yeah. And then we want um Oops, wrong button. I pressed escape instead of tab. <laughs> it's easy to make silly little mistakes like that. So we now need some nice lamps. We need some freestanding lamps. Let's go back to HGTV to see the... Uh, got these wire lamps. I kind of like these. It's the one that's in there. Oh yeah, brass. Yes, that's the, that's the one I think. So if we put right, one of these each side of here like that and then if we pop those on there we go and then we want a little bit of um, storage so we want some sort of cupboard maybe a small um, wardrobe so wardrobe we don't want it to be too huge because we've not got a ton of space. Um, but something maybe something like this in a in the we want the slightly darker colour, don't we? How about the maybe the cedar? Want to see if that would fit in this corner nicely. I think it will actually, so let's try that. Let's find the closest to the Corner. There we go. Oh, that fits quite nicely actually. And then we want a, a chest of drawers, I think, underneath here. So that was what Hermes. I think that's the Hermes. Uh, no, it's the Charles. So if we go back here and we look at what else comes in the Charles style so that they match. Um, 
actually if we go all the way back let's try that now so Charles yes let's try that again now oh is there only the oh is there only the wardrobe oh that's such a shame uh all right so we want oh, where have I gone <laughs> oh kitty you're not doing a good job are you right so we want a we want drawers we want something with drawers we want a cabinet really don't we with drawers with drawers I, like, I quite like all this kids stuff. There's a lot of nice new kids stuff, isn't there? Well, let's take a look at this patterned one. I don't remember a patterned one before, so this is one of the newer things that's been added. Look, oh look, dinosaurs. That is cool. Forest animals, black and white constantly. Actually, let's uh, let's do different drawers of each thing, shall we? So we've got dinos. We've got wild animals. And then as we come down, so we've got, we've got constellations. And then black and gold constellations, and blue and gold constellations, and blue and white constellations. And then let's change them as we go back up. Pink sky, blue sky, galaxy, sleepy bears. And pink. So that's quite interesting, isn't it? I quite like the idea of that for like kids and even for teenagers' rooms and things because you can change to galaxies and, and pinks and things. So you've got quite a bit of choice there. Right, so we don't want something with a mirror because it's going to be right underneath the window. Um, actually, perhaps one of these or one of these might work quite nicely. How tall? is this and, and if we did do that one we wouldn't want quite that bright how about that one how tall oh that might work actually all right let's rotate that and see how that looks oh, i quite like that actually i mean you'd have to twiddle with the curtains to get them to go behind and stuff if you were in real life doing that but i quite kind of kind of quite like that actually oh yes i kind of quite like that there isn't any space for anything else really in the room. I, I do kind of quite like that. Right, we need a, a lamp on the ceiling. And we've gone for the nice, fancy, metallic lamps at the side of the bed. So we need a ceiling lamp of that sort of style. So we want one of these shaped. I think we want quite a short one. So we'll go with, we want the brass and brass. And then we want to pop that in the there, like so and we have removed all of the switches haven't we from so we need to make sure we have switches in the rooms as we go so we want a nice modern light switch on here like so and then if we pop that on there we go beautiful I rather like that. I think that's come quite uh, quite nicely. All right, so it's a bit difficult to get. We really want to get try and get a nice screenshot of that. Uh, it's a little awkward to fit everything in, I think. So there we go. So that is our bedroom completed. There you go. So from here, and then from the opposite side, like so. There we go. Nicely done. I quite like that. I think that's worked out really, really well. So I think that is our bedroom all nicely completed. You could perhaps add a a plant. Maybe we could add like a under decorations and plants. We could add something simple. And we Mm, we want maybe a gold pot to match yeah, and then we can have a little bit of uh, foliage and uh, stuff in there and do you know what we could maybe have a little picture up on this wall as well I always like to add a little bit of, a little bit of um, decoration so we've got something a little bit pretty in there well, the autumn lake might be, might be a really good one actually, and maybe medium. Let's have a look how big it. Oh no, medium is too big. How about small? How small is small? So 
so if we come to the opposite side of the room you can see it from there like so there we go so yeah that is the bedroom completed so in the next episode we need to be working on the living room space and the small office space which we're going to be putting off the side of it here there so hope you've enjoyed today's episode please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one from softkitty99 goodbye and happy games